Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler at the farm doing the Great Farm Cleanup episode 66. If you're new to the channel, do yourself a favour and start at episode 1. There's been a lot going on here. Uh, today's been really busy. It's actually about 6pm. We're going to have uh, some food very shortly. I haven't filmed at all today because it's been go, go, go. We've been working on some sheds. We've had more people visit, which has been good because stuff's gone. I've made a sale on the right on mower over the on the other shed. We've finished cleaning out the workshop. Mum shed's pretty well done. The guy that was going to come and pick up some furniture and the truck gravel sides couldn't make it today, but he's coming in the morning, so that's good. The caravan's also going in the morning. But we'll do a bit of a quick walk around. We've kind of been doing bits everywhere today. It's been walking everywhere, and I like to try and make my walks efficient. So when I go over to one shed to pick up something, I take the trolley or I take something that needs to be dropped off in that area so that when I'm over there I can bring something back so there's no sort of wasted trip. And yeah, we've been going all different directions. Greg, my brother, has gone home this afternoon, but we've all really coordinated well. Mum's spent a lot of time in the garden. There's a huge pile of plants I've got to deal with. We've also been around the house and picked up a few old things. I've done a deal with Ross with the tyres, so I'll talk to you about that shortly. Let's have a bit of a walk around. This episode's basically just going to be a catch up on what's happened today. Now the carport area never actually gets tidy because that's the staging area. As I pack things in the van, more stuff turns up and it's always in a constant state of flux. As for the van, well, it's going quite well. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned I was going to take beds back, but I decided not to this trip because mum's still here tonight. So obviously I can't pack the bed up until tomorrow morning and we're leaving at lunchtime and the guy's coming to get the caravan and the bed would have to go in first. So that just wasn't going to be practical. So the van's a bit over, well, probably about half full, packed to the roof, lots of shed stuff, lots of boxes, lots of garbage um, bins there, like that sort of pinky color one there that, that have got all sorts of stuff in. Some of the full of shed things, some have got rags, some have got um, old cow manure that mum wants for the garden. So yeah, just lots of varied stuff. I managed to remember to get my ramp in this time before I packed it too full. And I've got a table to go in there and lots of pot plants yet, but we'll do those in the morning. Uh, you've seen Mum's shed. I don't think there's been any update there because it's pretty well finished. That's the table I've got to put in. And hopefully the guy takes some furniture in the morning. We did sort out some stuff back along here, which had, we hadn't got to before. And I've moved all my scrap metal down to the back wall there. Some of these tubs and, and bucket bins and things still have to go into the van. The pot plant pile is just growing every time I look at it. Oh, it's a nice sunset too. Let's have a look in the shed here. This workshop is pretty much done. Um, how's that look? Absolutely magnificent. Who thought it would ever look this neat? I'm leaving the fire here. Ross is happy about that. Uh, the air compressor has to go next time and the safe still is going to be picked up by my cousin Paul. I must give him a ring. And Ross said it's fine to take the old drill off the pole here. He doesn't want that. And that sign I'm going to donate to a museum uh, nearby here, and I might have talked about it in a previous episode. When I'm at the museum, I will do an e episode there. We'll film the place. It's amazing. So, yeah, this is all neat, tidy, um, swept out, nice echo, even with the doors open, it echoes. So that's good. Uh, the shearing shed, well, I've, <laughs> it was empty and now it's not, but there's a reason for that. Uh, I've done a deal with Ross because I really didn't want to deal with these tyres. It would take me oh, take me half a day to load them to take them to the transfer station. It costs a lot to get rid of the tyres. Steve, at one stage, was my son was going to come over in a truck and, and take them back to a property of one of his mates that he could get rid of them. But that's a, a big drive and they're hard to load. But Ross is happy to get rid of the tyres in exchange for some stuff, which means I don't have to deal with this stuff either. So the Honda firefighter pump there is in good order. There's a little sump pump, the workshop bench, a drop saw, the auger, a big extension ladder there, and there's another ladder to come in here as well. So a few things that Ross wanted that we're happy to leave here for him, a bit of value there, and in exchange, well, he can get rid of the tires and it saves me a job. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's a fair deal all round because Ross may even use some of the tires on some of his field bins or something or use them as tree guards it won't necessarily cost him money to get rid of so uh, I think that's a really good deal 
So what else have we got to go? Well, I've picked up some stuff from around here. There's still a few things to pick up to neaten up around the end of this shed. Didn't get any takers on these uh, chook feeders, but someone did message me and they wanted some of these drums. They haven't come out yet, so they've only got tomorrow morning to do it. But I'm not really worried about those because if no one takes them, well, they can just go down to the scrap metal pile. We had a guy turn up this afternoon to take the carry all away. That's this thing, so that was pretty good. I, I did $80 for it, so he was happy, I'm happy. The caravan main's coming in the morning, so we'll get some footage of that for you. Uh, this trailer's probably going to a neighbour's, so that's fine, I don't have to deal with that. The Greenfield ride-on has now been sold, which is good, so I don't have to worry about that either, either. I have cleaned up some of the stuff in here. I was planning to get this shed finished, but um, it doesn't matter if this waits till next time. There's really only a few bits and pieces the Massey Ferguson bonnet there has to go with the tractor, so that's going to the local golf club where we've donated it. But really, there's not much stuff in here. There's just a bit of firewood, a couple of old bags, and some old uh, machinery parts there that won't take long to sort out. The utility vehicle here is going back to Nagambi where I'll clean it up and sell it from over there. So everything's just about spoken for. I'm actually pretty happy with how it's all coming together. It sometimes seems a little bit of a a jumble there's something happening all over the place I, I, I think i've told you guys i do like to work in one spot and have it completely finished before i move to another spot but it's not always practical to do that um, but yeah there's been a lot going on today and i'm pretty happy with our progress oh the sun looks nice coming through the trees there so we've got a few things off the veranda as well i still have to pack that mower uh, but there's not much to go there. That's the other ladder that Ross wants, so I'll put that over in his shed shortly. I did get some stuff from around the front of the house. That's where the firefighter pump come from. There's still a few wheelbarrows and things to get from around here. And this is going to take a while, the final cleanups. There's sign it kind of everywhere you turn, there's just little bits and pieces to deal with. Uh, these barrows will all be going back to Nagambi because if mum doesn't want them all, um, We'll, we'll sell them, but you know, she is a specialist wheelbarrow collector, so she'll probably keep quite a few of them. Uh, little things around the yard, like these half drums that we've been used as tree guards. Uh, yeah, I might have to take them all down the scrap yard just to neaten up. I don't want to leave stuff everywhere, I want to leave it all neat and tidy. And around here, pretty well did all this, cleaned up this stuff around here today. We have bees actually in the house there's a beehive and i couldn't even walk around here this afternoon they were buzzing so much and there's one just flying around in front of me i think they're up in the roof somewhere we can hear them inside the wall seems to be sort of buzzing we're not going to worry about them um i think mum said they had turned up here other years but uh yeah i can't even see where they're coming in and out now but they were crazy before it was like walking through a cloud i don't really like bees but I guess, you know, you leave them alone, they leave you alone. So there we go. I think this will end this episode. Just a really quick walk around, bit of a chat, and uh, showing you what we've been doing. We did clean up all around the back of the house here, a lot of garden tools and things. And the pot plants have all been moved pretty much. There's still a few that I might get next trip. Uh, someone did mention in one of my videos in the comments section that Plants are very expensive to buy from nurseries and we should be taking everyone back that we can because if mum doesn't want them, we can sell them. And that is true. And we will be doing that to an extent, but they're just very hard to pack in the van. I can only get so many in. I do need to take some of these hoses. But uh, yeah, as we peruse the moonscape that used to be a garden out here. But anyway, as the sun goes down, we might call this video finished. And we'll do another update tomorrow when the caravan goes. And hopefully the other guy comes and picks up some furniture. It really is quite a nice sunset tonight, actually. Just before we go, I have a... I've just been sorting out some scrap metal here. And let's see who can tell me what this is. Piece of steel uh, bolted together each end. And bonus points if you can tell me what it was actually made from because it was repurposed. Hopefully we're staying in focus. It was repurposed from something else to make this item which would have been useful uh, on the farm. So I won't mention anything more in this video. I'll give you the answer in the next one if I think of it in the morning. And while we're at it, 
Does anyone know what this is off? It's obviously a, a crank type setup, uh, pulley drive. And any of you who know a bit about farm machinery will probably guess what make it is from the color. So yeah, tell me what the machine's off, uh, what machine it's off and what its function was. Bit of other scrap metal here. I'm just sorting out some stuff that's been lying around. All right, here's something more obscure. What is that? Pretty difficult to tell from that. Here's another one, a bit more complete. So there we go. Just for some comments, have your guess. Uh, the rest of it's just going into drums here. This is all going for scrap. I will sell it in Melbourne at some stage down the track. So the heavy stuff I'm selling, I'll take to Nagambi at some stage, which I mentioned in the last video. And all the longer stuff and the not so heavy stuff, I'm just going to take down the lane and we'll call the scrappy to clean up all the machines when we're done. And that time is coming fairly soon. So thanks for watching again, guys. A quick video this time, although I'm not sure how many minutes I've talked for, but I've I basically hadn't started a video for today 20 minutes ago and I'll just do it all in one hit because I've been busy, all right? So you can keep up with what's going on. We have one more morning left at the farm for this trip. That's tomorrow. And we have a fair bit happening. I have to finish loading the van and I hope to get away about lunchtime. I'll try and film a bit. We'll get another episode out of it somehow. And I probably won't get that up until a day or two later once I get home and get organized. And then I'll have to try and unpack the van at some stage. Don't know where I'm going to put it all. Anyone got any spare room in their sheds? Who lives close by? Thanks for watching, guys. That finishes episode, what was it? 66. We'll try and get episode 67 out tomorrow. We'll catch you then. Bye for now.